Welcome back to Big Bill's Garage. I am Big Bill, your friendly neighborhood parts guy. This week, I'm going to be fixing the exhaust on thumper. That piece that I fixed keeps falling off. So what I decided to do is I'm going to take the whole exhaust off, and this is why we built the sawhorse last week. We're going to be um, welding the exhaust on, and which comes with a little bit of worry from my wife. You see, we had a yard fire here, which was not my fault at all. So I decided to create a redneck fire suppression system. And suppression system? You put ice in it? A little bit. I mean, hey, got to put that fire out. Safety. Alright, now that I'm all dried off after my fire suppression system prematurely suppressed me. The additions that I need to make to the exhaust, number one, I need to actually weld. I'm going to be adding down pipes. I've got two different lengths here because I'm hoping to be able to stack the exhaust pipes like that. And I've also got these Thrush glass pack cherry bomb exhausts. So I just want to open it up and show it to you. Look at how beautiful it is. Ricola! What's in there? Oh, I got stickers, buddy. Look at that. That is going yes. on the side truck. Yes. More stickers. Love the stickers. Well, last time we were under here, I resecured this guy right here. You can tell that it's still charging right here. So, that's exhaust leaking out over here. There's also exhaust leaking out. I'm just going to get these loosened up and I'm just going to take it out as one piece. has been where it's just been leaking out uh, straight up right here so that popping that we hear randomly it's been coming from that my idea of trying to get this off in one piece is not exactly panning out Originally, I had made a video on us doing this, and uh, you guys never got to really see, you know, the fruits of our labors on this thing, um, and that's unfortunate, but now you can see kind of the bullshit that we were dealing with. You know, we had pieces that didn't fit right, pretty much this piece right here, which is going to be a pain in the ass to weld because of the gaps that are here, so little taste of what 3 a.m. life used to be. Now it's starting to record. Ooh. Okay, let's see if I can just get it to... Come on. Okay, this isn't much harder than I thought it was. Way <laughs> over there. Should I put the uh, little thing in front of the camera? Oh, yeah, we probably should do that. I don't know why 
that's not doing what I want it to do though. Well, that concludes part one of this exhaust deal. I think I'm just going to make it a three-part series after what I've been through today. Um, so now that we finished up one side, I still got one other to go, and that one is actually going to be the easier one. This one had all the pieces that didn't exactly fit each other. So um, a lot of things happen that probably a lot of people out there that watch this, especially welders, are going to cringe at. Yeah, so they're going to cringe at stuff like this, but this was just a quick fix to make it to where it fit. These welds are shitty, I know, but they're holding. It's sealed. So it's going to, it's not going to be as bad as it used to be. Um, down here is what I've got left, and I'm starting to get better. This is a lot better than the first welds. Yeah, but it still looks just like soup. So we're going, we're graduating from chicken shit to regular shit, and I'm still having a hard time getting it to actually do what I want it to do um, but that just is going to come with time so for uh, Sebastian I'm Big Bill your friendly neighborhood parts guy be sure to like share and subscribe you can find me on Instagram Twitter TikTok, and Facebook um, at Big Bill's Garage but you guys be safe out there you have a pleasant day enjoy yourselves <laughs>